Welcome back guys to another video of Unikitty. Meow meow. And today I wanted to do something different. I did a little post on Facebook about uh what's the difference between a Chevy and a Ford. Well a few comments were all, you know, normal. But I've been waiting for the rest. So I'm asking everybody else. And I know my hat's all grouty and disgusting, but I've had it for like six years, man. Got years of sweat and grime and tears and it's hell. Between Chevy and Ford. But I don't have anything to represent Ford. You know why? Because Ford's a piece of shit. Now, don't get me wrong. People say Fords are better, Dodge is better, Honda's better, Chevy's better. It's everybody's own opinion. I almost said pen. <laughs> but um, some Fords can be reliable. But majority of all, it's Chevy and Dodge that come out on top. There's a few times Ford does come out on top, but not all the time. And I will say, they're, depending on your car model, I would vote for Dodge. I love my Dodges. Preferably second gen. 99, any, 99 or 94 is my years on them. But older, older Chevys, Fords, and Dodges were the best. Same thing with Toyotas. They were amazing. Stupid bugs. Just got fucking bit by, just got bit by a damn bug. Are you kidding me? Cause Chevy, oh, you gotta love them square bodies. Oh, I see a Chevy that's a square body. Oh my lord. Same thing with Ford. They're not bad. They're back then they were reliable. That's why they call some people would call their vehicles or trucks or vehicles, cars, trucks, bike, whatever it was, all reliable because. They always could rely on it because it never broke down. Or when it did, it was an easy fix. Fucking bug! Fuck! Mm. These goddamn bugs. And I will say... Uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. I just lost my train of thought, guys. Um, Chevys. Z71s. Now those, you rarely see them damn things break down. But the Ford Patriots, now you'll see them break down every few once in a while. And I got one parked all the way down there, about a quarter mile away from me. Yeah, it's a quarter mile. Yeah, all the way down there, park. And then there's a Chevy right there. And also, don't let me forget about GMC. They're not bad of vehicles either. But post down in the comments what's your favorite Chevy, Ford, Dodge, Toyota, Honda, whatever it is. Post your favorite truck or your favorite anything. And like, let's go to bikes for instance. I like 250 Honda Rebels. They're, they're not bad, but it's a 250. And once you have it, a year later, you're going to want to go up higher. So, I put my eyes set on a 600 CBR. Granted, everybody's like, well, that's too much power for you, da 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 da. I'm like, your point? Why can't I have a fast bike? There's nothing wrong with having a fast bike, is there? I don't see no reason to not having one. But a Honda Rebel is a Harley versus a CBR, which is a cross rocket. Granted, I'd love to have both, but in all reality, reality, I'd love to have the Honda Rebel, but I want it in a 450. I'm pretty sure they make it in 450s, but all I could find was a 250 at my local shop, which is not bad, because how I used to sit in my old truck, that's how it was. So, I'm going to have my height start on that one, but if I thought about the price, 4801. I went up there, I was like, asked, I was like, why the one? So that's just how it tidily up. I was like, 
Uh, okay. Oh, we got people playing basketball. Oh, my phone, my camera is being stupid today. But I will see you guys in my next video and it be another vlog. Hopefully I can do a gaming video. Hopefully. But as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.